Hey friends, in this video, I will configure the account expiry notifications for administrators by using the PowerShell script. So I'm going to open the PowerShell ISC and in this PowerShell ISC tool, I will open the PowerShell script which I just created for the expiry notifications. So this is the PowerShell script and uh, here you can see there are the three uh, blocks of this PowerShell scripts where we have just created uh, uh, variables as well as also used some PowerShell command and uh, email body and the SMTP details. So from the beginning I am just going to tell you about this variable. So this variable is storing the current date of your system and in the next variable it is just adding the counter for get date so from the current date of the system it will add the counter like seven so seven days you can count it seven days and uh, in the next variable i am calling the active directory powershell script where i will call the active directory powershell command and uh, this powershell command will uh, fetch the user details including the enabled status and account expiry date as we, it will also compare uh, like greater than start date from this variable and uh, account expiration date less than uh, report end date. So this will uh, just compare the greater than and less than from uh, beginning date and the end date. Next, it is just calling the properties of the account, account expiry date and email address. Next, this is just calling these all details after fetching the report inside this variable. This will create a um, HTML format and in this HTML format, I am calling the account name, the account name which is going to be expired and uh, the email address of the account in case if there is any email address which is uh, assigned on uh, on the account so this will call the email address as well as the account uh, expiration date and next this is an html values where i am just using a different uh, ps1 uh, this is a powershell script where i have just configured the as SMTP server details like uh, SMTP server name and password and uh, SMTP username and all. So in case if you don't want to use a separate uh, like a PowerShell script for calling the SMTP details, so you have to just specify these all details within your PowerShell script because we just want to hide the SMTP password and all. That's why I just I'm calling this. Uh, global.ps1 from uh, C drive itself. Next, uh, I'm just specifying the from address. So this is the from address where from which I'm just uh, sending the email, SMTP user details. This is uh, the SMTP username and subject name, uh, account expiry report for seven days. And I'm just converting this uh, password into a secure string. So I'm just calling this variable and in this variable I am just assigning these all details for the SMTP password to make a secure password. Now I am using the send mail message. This is a command PowerShell command that will use to send the email by using this SMTP server details and uh, credentials and the two address where you just want to send the email and the from address. So in the from address I specified this one. So these two are the common but you can change the email address accordingly. Now I am calling these values inside the body as an HTML. Now I will send this email. I will just execute this PowerShell script by clicking on this green button. Now we'll see this PowerShell script has been executed successfully and we'll go on the email and we'll see the details how uh, reports are generated. Now you can see here I am just uh, able to see the name, email address and expiration date, the account name which is going to be expired and the email address in case if email address is, uh, um, is assigned to the users. So you can see the email address currently this is in blank for info02 whereas uh, test 
test user one having one email address now expiration date is there so these accounts are going to be expired on 4th of March and 5th of March so we'll go on the Active Directory and we'll see the properties of these two users and we'll uh, cross check the reports which are which have been generated this is the account properties and we'll go and see this is the March 4th so this account is live till 4th of March and this will be expired on 5th of March so I just received this details as well similarly I will check the second user and we'll go on the account and we'll see this is the account and uh, you can see this account will be live till till 3rd of March and will expire it on 4th of March so this is the way which you can follow to configure the account expiry notification for your Active Directory users and if you just want to see the script for this account expiry notification so just visit my uh, web blog site that is infoelias.com and here you can see I just just provided this all PowerShell script you can follow it as I told you that if you don't want to use the uh, global PS so you can uh, configure the SMTP details as a variable and you can put the detail and you can just execute this PowerShell script so this is the website infoelias.com where you can see the PowerShell script for account expiry reporting thank you for watching this video